Now let's add page objects to our feature. So that should be very simple. So what we have done in our test cases in page object model. So I'll gonna uh, take this. Uh, this is like the bank. Where where is the bank manager? Uh, this is bank manager login test. So what we are doing from the home page, we are validating the title, we are navigating. So these are the things that we actually need. So uh, I'm going to copy this import first and we'll go over here. First, we need to import this stuff, right? So as soon as we import it, uh, the next thing we need to do is to create an object using uh, the constant home page equal to new home page actions. So same thing I can do it over here. And now instead of this, uh, what I'll, I'll just comment it out. So I can write home page dot navigate to URL. That's it. It should be very simple, right? And after that, uh, I'll remove this and say uh, home page dot login as bank manager. So this should actually going to click on the bank manager. And here we'll be validating the uh, title. So this instead of this, I'm going to say homepage dot validate title dot should. Right. So these are actually coming from page objects. So if you save this, if I go back over here, see the execution was very fast, right? So this is how we have integrated our page objects to use with Cucumber. Now, instead of uh, running it through this uh, UI, we can also run it uh, through the command line interface as well. So in order to uh, run from command line interface, what I'll do, I'll just stop this and simply gonna type npx Cypress run. That's it. And let's see. See, running the bank manager login feature. So this run command is actually picking the feature files only. Okay, so now we got some error. Let's see why we have this error. So it's reporter not found. Okay. okay, so it looks like some issue with uh, the Mocha reporter. So what I'm gonna do, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna remove this uh, reporting stuff for the time being. I was gonna re-enable them. Just delete it from here. And uh, the Mocha awesome report. And the Mocha awesome JC. Right. So let's try running it again. And see, everything successfully executed. Right? No issues. But I mean, this was actually like a headless execution because uh, it has actually executed in uh, the Electron browser. So we have the HTML file as well uh, ready. So if in case you want to see this HTML, so this is the HTML that we got. We'll open it to check. See, login as bank manager. Our test was successfully executed. And these are the Cucumber steps that were actually called, right? So uh, this is uh, the basic report for bank manager login. Basically, the issue that uh, we are facing over here, in case you uh, are on a Windows 10 operating machine, then you may need to write uh, some script which should actually uh, gonna delete uh, this uh, report folder. 
So if, if you don't delete this report folder, next time when you again run it, uh, it may gonna face, it may gonna throw some issues over here. Okay, so I guess it's working fine now. That's fine. Right, I, I'm not sure why it was throwing error, but it was actually due to this reporting part only. Right, so now uh, this is one of the way how you can actually uh, run it. In case uh, you want to launch it with uh, the Chrome browser, so you can simply say hyphen hyphen browser and Chrome. So this is actually gonna run your uh, feature on the Chrome browser. And you can see the browser is launched and now it's navigating and we're going to perform all given, when, and the entire stuff. Right. So this is how you can run your test uh, via command line interface as well. And uh, in the next lecture, we're going to see uh, some more features of Cucumber like using uh, the data tables and uh, adding more uh, steps to our step definition, creating more scenarios, right? So that's what we are actually going to look in our next lecture. So that's all in this lecture. Thank you.